This is Shannon with TSI. I want to show you our, how to assemble a two-inch plug valve today using our two-inch standard repair kit. Our two-inch standard repair kits come with a seal kit that have the uh, expiration date on them, so you know that you're getting a good quality seal kit. It'll we'll come with a with a plug and a matching set of inserts. Both are serialized with the heat treat numbers. So you know you're getting a matching set. Uh, so first thing we want to start with is we're going to use some TSI stick grease. We're going to start packing the, the adjusting nut. You don't have to do this if, if you're using a uh, pneumatic grease gun, which uh, will do all the packing for you. But if you're using a hand-operated grease gun, I recommend that you, you pack some grease in here before you start. Next thing you want to do, you want to open your seal kit. And then your seal kit should come with the O-ring that goes around the body. Make sure the old O-ring is off. Spread that grease around. And then the next pieces you got are the Buna rubber seals with the uh, brass. What I use is the Never Seize that we sell. And I usually put it around inside this ring and then I put it inside the body here. This is the only other thing I add in here besides the TSI stick grease. And then just press your seal with the brass metal piece facing down so it's metal to metal. And the next, I like to grab the plug and set the plug inside of the seat. And the reason why I put that never sees in there is because the only thing this rides on is that Buna rubber and sometimes it causes a lot of friction because this rubber gets metal. So all that adds it to make it a little easier to close. Plus it makes it easier to disassemble when the time comes. And then next you want to uh, place your inserts. Now a lot of people like to put grease along here. Or if you have an older set, you can buy our Valtex Honey. And what it does, you roll the plug all over and then you place it only on the O-rings as you assemble it. And it will help some of the older valves hold where they normally wouldn't be under pressure. So you want to get these slip all the way under. Make sure everything's flush. Because these set right on this, this groove line here, just right up under the, where the, uh, the plug sits. Next you want to add your O-rings onto the inserts. And then I like to add a little grease, or I'll use that Valtex honey, like I said, depending on how old it is. And then add a little bit here, all the way around. And then I like to take some of the grease. After I've thoroughly cleaned the body, using a die grinder some, and some brake parts cleaner, just wipe it out when you're done. And then add plug valve grease to the inside of the body put a little bit in there. You don't have to do this, but the reason why I recommend it is it's less times you'll have to change your grease gun out. And then the next step is you want to add your your Buna brass seal into the two inch plug valve. And I do the same thing with it. I add only the never seize to the inside of this. I never put the never seize uh, anywhere else but these parts. And then you never want to add any like Mystic 7 grease or axle grease in here because it will interrupt what that plug valve grease is meant to do. The next step is you want to add something to your threads here. You can use the Never Seize just only on these threads. And you can put a generous amount if you want. This will help when you tear it down that this ensures that doesn't get stuck. The next step is you have these roll pin grooves on each side. And what these roll pin grooves need to be exactly aligned with these roll pins when you drop, drop the plug in. And you just drop it in and then you just start turning it. Uh, you can use anything you can find to help start this with. And you just keep going until 
to get it seated. And then you might need to get your larger valve bar. Keep turning until it stops. Now there's a lot of debate what to do next. I did it until it stopped. A lot of people will immediately go and go add their screw, which I put never sees on as well. This bolt retains the plug in its place. So once you get that retained in its spot, Then you'll just have to flip the valve around. Okay. Now that's in place. I like to take a rubber mallet, hit the top of the plug to ensure that it's seated down inside of the brass unit, you know, union seal, or make sure everything's set in the right place. Then your handle is marked. This is open, but you have these two notches and two notches on top of your plug. You just line those up. Make sure your handle is in the open position, sitting on there properly, and then reinstall the bolt. You want to, at that point, just make sure things operate as like it should. So this is back in the closed position. You can see that everything's lined up. Reopen the valve. This time you can put your bolt in your top of your handle if you want. I usually wait to make sure things perfect. Then I go and check this one more time after tapping that plug, see if there's anything left. Make sure everything's snug, snugged up. I call this setting the plug. This is to ensure that your plug is set properly. It's a little extra stiff, but it works. I'll tap it one more time and then reinstall your handle. Then you want to grease it, grease it to 3,000 pounds, cycle it once and grease it again to 3,000 pounds and then flip it over, check this nut again. Most likely it's going to move a little bit more. This is Shan with TSI. Uh, I'd like, like to check out our next video of, of disassembly. Thank you.